Hello, hello. Some of you might know that a couple of months ago, our adopted Dina arrived from China. I say our adopted Dina. It's Dina the dog. We like to call her Lady D because she's a princess. And we love her so much. And we adopted her through Underdog International from a shelter called Sword House Survivors in China. And we didn't really know too much about her history. She's a very unusual looking dog. And so we decided to get a DNA test for her. So we took a couple of swabs from the inside of both sides of her cheeks. So we had to swab them for 15 seconds at a time and then we sent them off to the lab. We used a service called Wisdom Panel for this. This is not a direct endorsement of Wisdom Panel. This is an unpaid, totally unsponsored video. But there are other DNA services out there. But we were very happy with what we got back from Wisdom Panel as you're about to find out. So I hope you enjoy finding out more about Lady D. Are you ready, Dina? Dina, what flavour of dog are you? What kind of dog are you, Dina? <laughs> okay, Ancestry. We detected 17 breeds in Dina's DNA. <laughs> 17 breeds! Okay, so she's. we thought she was very companion orientated, obviously with the chihuahua in her. She's actually 41% Pekingese, 12% Shih Tzu, 5% Japanese Chin. Japanese Chin? <laughs> yeah. 4% Pomeranian, 3% Lapsa, Apso, 3% Japanese Spitz. And people have been saying this, she's 1% Pug. <laughs> so she has some Pug in her. Oh, sorry, I was saying Chihuahua is a companion dog. Actually, she's 16% Chihuahua. So that's Cancer to Terrier, 2% Dachshund. 1% Crumforlander and 1% Russian Toy Terrier. And then she's 3% Chow Chow, 2% Liang Shan Hound and 2% Shuba Inu. 2% French Bulldog, 1% Hound, Seguigo, Seguigo Italiano. And this is very exciting, Dina, you are 1% Wolf. <laughs> She's 1% wolf. You're 1% wolf, Dina. Wow. 1% wolf. This is very exciting. So, oh, and it tells you, here's what Dina's family may have looked at. Parents, Pekingese mix, Shih Tzu mix, Chihuahua mix on one side. And then Pekingese mix, Shih Tzu uh, mix, Chihuahua mix on the other side. The sanctuary right when they were like, she's a, she's a Chihuahua mix. But actually, she's more Pekingese than anything. And no, no Labrador, Dina. No Labrador in her. And a tiny, tiny bit of French bulldog. They're, they're compiling Dina's relatives, but I have a feeling that we won't find them because she came from China. Um, she is all clear for 29 genetic conditions that could impact her early vet visits. Coat colour and type, nine traits. We found two special coat colour genes in Dina's DNA. Recessive red, cream to red coat, so she's got the cream coat, and also tan points. And we found ah, one special coat pattern gene in Dina's DNA. Piebald, one copy, white markings possible, which is true, she does have white markings on her back. She's got a long hair variant one, short coat likely, long coat possible. Um, genetically, it's unlikely that Dina is hairless. And reduced shedding, yes, it's true, she was a low shedder, she went to the groomers and now she's shedding a bit more. <laughs> in fact, she shed it. She shed it quite a lot recently. I don't know if that's a seasonal thing, Dina. Dina's ideal weight range is eleven to twenty pounds, or in kilograms, that's five to nine point five kilograms. And when we last had her weight, she was nine point eight kilograms. And I think she's lost a little bit of weight since then, so she's currently in a good weight range. <laughs> head shape. We found two special head shape genes in Dina's DNA. Short snout variant one and variant two. Short snout variant one is common in Chihuahuas. Pekingese and Boston Terrier. But I'm quite glad she's got Chihuahua mix in her because I think that Pekingese have got quite like a flat face compared to a Chihuahua, so it means that she's got much better breathing than she would if she was purely Pekingese, I think. Dina's Dean say she likely has brown or amber eyes. <laughs> this is my favourite. Ears. We found one special ear gene in Dina's DNA. Floppy ears. <laughs> Yeah, floppy ears are my favourite. <laughs> uh, Dina appears to have the most common number of toes for a dog, five on each front paw, 
her four on each back paw. She's actually got one, two, three, four, five. She's got five on her back paws and she's got five on her front actually. Um, oh, <laughs> we found one additional special body feature in, in Genius DNA. One percent wolf. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to kind of look up the Pekingese traits and see how many of them kind of are in the personality that we've seen in Dina because she's very you can probably see she just likes a belly rub she loves love and affection she's quite fine with having a jumper on like I think she understands it keeps her a bit warmer but we will take this off you in a second it's just you for door um she likes to have a little run but most of all she likes to be on our laps cuddling <laughs> you're right Dina <laughs> <laughs> and she likes to be between the two of us. It feels like it's no surprise that we call Dina Lady G now, given that she's pretty much descended from Chinese royalty, because Pekingese dogs are associated with being lap dogs of nobility in China. So that's quite exciting. I would love to do some more content around Dina if you guys are interested. So do let me know in the comments if you'd like to find out more about Dina and how we adopted her and a bit more about her day-to-day -day with us. She is just the best dog. I can't thank Sword House Survivors and Underdog International enough for letting us adopt her through them. She has changed our lives for the better. So I hope that you love her as much as we do, or just, just a little bit. And yeah, she might appear in future videos if that's something you're interested in. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again.